Well, hey everybody, welcome back to Dehaven Family Farm. Today we're gonna try a will it start video. We have a Toro 520H garden tractor in this shed here behind me. It's been sitting there for quite a few years now. The uh, shed, uh, which you can't really see, we'll, we'll go inside. The shed is starting to sort of collapse. I don't know if you can see how bow, bowed out that side is. So we need to get uh, some stuff out of here to be able to repair the shed. So let's take a quick walk here and I'll show you where we're going. See all the stuff that's in here. And there is where we need to go. <laughs> so you can see how bad the roof has been leaking. Um, you can see the light coming in there. So we need to get this cleaned out some so that we can repair the shed. So let's uh, see if we can get this 520 started. I have some stuff here in the back of the gator to help us today. We got some fresh gas. We're gonna dump some sea foam in there first thing because uh, the gas that's in there is really old. Got some work lights. Uh, that was just from feeding the pigs this morning. That is to set you guys on. We have our Harbor Freight jump pack. It works good for small engines. And of course, air compressor because tires are going to be low. All right, so I got a bunch of the stuff out of the way so we can actually get in here to work on the tractor. Uh, this is, like I said, it's a Toro 520H. It's a hydro model. It's from about 1998-ish. I can't quite remember. We bought it brand new, had it ever since. It has a 48 inch deck on it. It has a power flow, uh, an actual wheel horse bagger that goes with it that mounts on the back. And if you guys can see over there in the back, the top of a 48 inch snow plow that goes with it as well and uh, i think there was some tire chains around here this is what we used to plow the driveway with when i was a kid and uh looks like we have a flat tire there this tire is a little bit low but it's okay can't even get to these tires that one's low but okay and that other front one is flat so we will have to address that so let's get started checking this over. So the first thing we're gonna do here is see what the gas situation is in here. Oh, well, other than it being a little dirty, that's kinda, can you guys see in there? It is completely bone dry. So that's good. Uh, we shouldn't be dealing with any old gas. So let's get some fresh stuff in there and that'll be step one. Now the gas I'm putting in is fresh gas and I always uh, put some sort of stabilizer in the gas uh, whether it be a sea foam or a Lucas stabilizer I always do that so if it sits around a while hopefully it'll be okay while we're back here let's uh, check the transmission Ugh. It's about halfway on the dipstick. It's in the operating range. All right, let's pop the hood here. Okay. So we got our air filter here. Let's check that quick. Eh, it's definitely dirty. She needs a new one, but doesn't look plugged. Engine oil here, if I can get the dipstick out of there. Wow. I remember this is a replacement. The uh, original one, it, and it is a factory replacement. There. The original one broke off. Now my hands are all dirty. There's a little elbow right here, a 90 degree bend, and the original one broke in that spot. We're in the operating range. Okay. Now, can we get this goofy thing back in here? If we come up here, you guys can see the gauge cluster here. Uh, let's turn the key. And yeah, nothing even lights up. So, Let's get our jump pack and get that hooked on. Okay, so that's what it's supposed to look like. 
when we have battery power. So, we got our choke down here. We're gonna go ahead and choke it. With it being practically out of gas like it was, we may have to uh, turn it over quite a bit. We'll do about half throttle or so and see what happens there. Here we go. And apparently we do not have enough juice to turn this over. I don't quite understand that. This thing was full. Oh, and now it's all the way down there. When I took it out of the garage, it was fine. Now it's already zapped. That's what you get for buying a cheapo. All right, so we moved on to plan B, which is jumper cables to the gator. So we're gonna try and crank this again and see what happens. We still got our choke on, throttle, here we go. Still nothing. Still acting like we don't have enough power. All right, I let the uh, I idled up the gator and uh, let it kind of charge on the battery there some, and we still have lights, but nothing like it won't. She won't turn over here. There just isn't enough juice. You can kind of see everything flashing. So I think what we're gonna have to do is get some tools and uh, things are kind of rusty there anyway. We'll have to get some tools and get this battery out of here and maybe try putting it on the charger down the garage. All right, let's start with getting this. This is the battery hold down here. Let's get this out of the way. It's not even in the right spot anyway. It's not supposed to be in the middle like that. It's supposed to be on the edge. So I'm not sure what happened there. What in the world? All right, now well, there, we got that out of the way. Just to loosen up here. Let's see if we can get this little guy up out of here. Ugh, there we go. So I do have a wire brush with me where I'll just go through and touch these up good. So here's our battery. It's an interstate. There we go. Let's uh, clean up the terminals here and take it down and put it on the charger. All right, on the charger charging. We'll give it a little while and go back and uh, see if we can get her to turn over. Okay, we've had this battery on the charger for a while. Just came back. And uh, as you can see there, I put the tester on it. It's uh, the battery's bad. Um, so we're gonna have to get another battery, I guess, before we can attempt to uh, even run this. All right, so we went and got ourselves a new interstate battery. That one's actually for our other gator. Uh, <laughs> the other gator had a battery and it lasted 10 years. I was quite impressed with that. So anyway, let's grab the one for this uh, tractor here and throw her in, see what happens. Okay, let's grab our battery here. See if we can wiggle it in there okay there got that in there pop these little covers off all right let's see if we can tighten these down now Now we got to get this clamp guy on here if we can. There we go. Let's see. We got plenty of power. Is she going to crank? Still won't crank. Brand new battery. What is the problem here? It just keeps acting like there's no juice. 
Okay, so I followed the clicking noise down to there's, if you can see right here, I know the lighting's terrible in here. There's three relays down here, and the one closest to us was clicking. Um, again, I know you can't see great, but some of the little prongs on here don't look the greatest. They're not black, black, but uh, so I'm hoping that this is the issue. This is actually, it says it was made in USA. I'm thinking this is original to the tractor itself. So I went to town again and uh, I got a couple of these from Napa. Ugh. Oops. Here's here's a new one here. So we're gonna put this guy in and see if that solves our problem. If it doesn't solve our problem, then uh, I'm afraid that uh, we're gonna have to call it on this video here because I can't get to anything else. It's, uh, all right, let me get that thing in there and, uh, then we'll, then we'll give it a shot. Okay. We got the new guy in there. Uh, the problem was I was sticking it in backwards. So anyway, if this doesn't solve the problem, um, I am not going to be able to continue to work on this thing up in the shed. I've got no tools up here. I got no room to work on it. So we're going to have to move it somewhere else to try and see if we can figure out what it needs to start. We'll just have to tow it. So that'll be the end of the video here if we can't get it to start. So here we go for the fifth or sixth or seventh try. Let's see what she'll do. And nothing again. So that was not our problem. All right, guys, I hate to quit here. I've been uh, checking wire connections, looking for broken wires. Um, didn't seem to do much. The last thing I've done here is uh, I've kind of beat on the starter a little bit. So let's see if that, uh, let's see if that solves the problem. That's kind of my last resort right now. I hate electrical problems. Oh, we got her. That must have been what it was. The starter was getting stuck. All right. Chokes on. Throttles up a little bit. Here we go. She was out of gas, so I'll have to give her a minute here and see what happens. I turned the choke off too quick, I think.
put her back in use. But uh, yeah, glad we got her running. All right, now we got to take her over and park her uh, where we're going to keep her for now. And uh, hopefully sometime in the spring we'll be able to bring this in the shop and just do a full service new starter. Just go over the whole thing front to back and uh, get it ready for the summer. Okay, that's where she's going to sit parked, be tucked in this building up here for now out of the way. And I'll bring some of the attachments and things up that go with it. But uh, yeah, what a what a great tractor, garden tractor these are. I think they even had some other attachments that we don't have. But uh, I look forward to being able to uh, get it fixed up and get out and use it this summer, maybe mowing some grass and things. So... All right. I did not think that was going to be a successful video. I thought I was going to have to call it a fail. <laughs> but uh, banging on the starter is what finally got it fixed after all the trips to town and everything else we tried. Uh, luckily, we didn't have a gas issue, so that was good. No spark issue. So uh, it took all day, but uh, we got it done. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Questions, comments down below. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you want to see more of this Toro 520, hit that bell icon because it's going to notify you of upcoming videos. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Hope to see you all in the next video.